Hey, hey guys, it's Jeremy James, the Bourbon Realtor, coming at you on Whiskey Wednesday for Barstools and Bourbon. Today, we've got the new riff. This is the Atlas and Mason barrel pick. We'll be with you in just a second. <music> All right, y'all, glasses raised, get them things red D. So if you don't know Allison Mason, it's George Laboda. He's out of California. He's a big social media TikToker. Uh, I don't know, a gazillion followers and everything else. He went to New Riff up in Covington, Kentucky and did their, um, their barrel pick program. And this is the product. So just take a look here, man. Um, New Riff, single barrel. Coming in at a nice, respectable 112.1. Here's the cool thing. So about four and a half years. Nice description. Barrel. Here's what I absolutely love about this. Look at that etching. Atlas and Mason etched right on the back of the bottle. A lot of folks are doing the stickers and everything else. Love that etching. Really do. It's freaking awesome. Um, so to store it with or to ship it with or anything else. They also give you nice boxes for it to go in. A lot of other picks, you'll just get it in the case box and then you get the bottle, but this is really nice. So, um, oh, also, so coming up in future episodes, we may be doing some complete double blinds and be doing some, um, some bourbons as well that require a little bit of extra help to block the eyes. Anybody who has had um, Crystal Pepsi from the 1990s or whatever else completely understands that you taste with your eyes first and sometimes when you're tasting bourbon that will throw you off. So we're going to be employing some of these black Glencairns which is going to allow us to remove the visual aspect from what we're drinking so we can actually taste and smell what's there without our eyes playing tricks on us. Anyway, so be watching for that down the road. All right, so let's go ahead. It's not a fresh cork pour, or it's not a fresh crack because I already tried to do one recording of this, but forgot to hit the button. Anyway, so we're gonna do it again. Let's see if it'll give us a nice pop. Not nearly as nice as the fresh one, but it'll do. All right, let's get this thing poured out. So right away, we can tell it's got a nice honey color. It is just about the, the honey. Um, coating wise, look at how it moves in the glass, really pretty. Coats the glass really evenly. And then the legs get rolling. Let's see if I can get those legs going. Let's see, they're starting to go. Usually it takes that second swirl before they really start. Here they go, there they go. Look at those legs. Really pretty. I love the color on this. It's not super, super dark. Um, it does just have that honey color, just, I mean, really. It's four and a half, five years old, which you wouldn't expect it to be super dark, but it is barrel proof. So um, I can imagine if this was proof down to 90 that it would get a lot lighter. But um, anyway, so let's dive into the nose. So right away, you get your basic notes, your caramel, your vanilla, your oak, all right? So we'll just put that as a stamp on every single bourbon from here to eternity, okay? On top of that, I'm getting floral notes. And then I'm getting, I'm getting some um, like lemon zest is what I'm pulling on here as well. Not a lot of spice on the nose, and it's not super syrupy sweet. It's got a little bit of alcohol, ethanol on the nose, but not bad at all. It's not offensive. I can get my nose down in the glass, and at 112.1, it's probably what I would expect. All right, so whiskey's meant to be drank, so let's drink. Mm. So right away, it's got a really nice, smooth, 
buttery mouthfeel. I hate the word smooth. Anyway, so scratch that. Um, a really nice buttery mouthfeel. Comes in very oily and soft on the palate. Um, as opposed to what would be like a, um, almost like a really thin um, or crisp type of feeling. This one is much softer and rounder on the palate. That is a big win for me. I love that. I get a lot of the brown sugars. I get, I get where they call it some sorghum on that as well. That's that really kind of deep, darker, richer flavor. But I also get some of that, that cinnamon in there as well and some of those brighter notes. It's not really hot. It doesn't have a lot of that prickle on the tongue, which is really nice for me because I don't really care for a bourbon that basically tries to rip my mouth apart. Ah, super delicious. I mean, look at that. There is nothing wrong with that at all. Just moves in the glass so nicely. It looks so pretty. For a four and a half to five year old bourbon, there is nothing wrong with this at all. Love the nose on it. Just completely sniffable all day. That buttery mouthfeel, that cinnamon, little bit of pepperiness back on the palate as well. What's not to love? I mean, really, what's not to love about this thing? Anyway, George, George Laboda, Allison Mason, great pick, absolutely beautiful pick. Absolutely love it. Glad to have it on my bar. Um, new riff. Phenomenal job. Love to have another single barrel on my bar as well. So if we're talking the smash, pass, or bar, this is definitely a, a, a smash for me all day long. I'll definitely buy this um, all day because this is right in my wheelhouse. I absolutely love these flavors. I love the, the body of it. I love the finish, which is just that, that kind of softer, oily type of finish. Doesn't have a lot of that um, tear your mouth up, all kind of heat, and just a little bit of Kentucky hug, not nothing serious or offensive. So if you're looking for something nice, if you want, want a good barrel proof, and Atlas has got some left, we'll have to check with him. But otherwise, man, check out some of the other New Riff stuff. There are, there are the New Riff single barriers. They have a lot of different expressions. Doing great stuff up there in Covington. Love it. We'll, I'm Jeremy James, the Bourbon Realtor, coming at you for another Whiskey Wednesday. We'll see you all next time. Until then, glasses raised. Mm -hmm.